Welcome to the Gentleman's Gazette. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the Oriental tie knot. The Oriental is called that way because it's one of the most popular tie knots in Asia. Basically, the Oriental is the easiest tie knot that you could find, and it is also the smallest tie knot. I recommend using the Oriental tie knot when you have a tie that is very short or if you're very tall, um, because that way you don't use a lot of tie material forming the knot. It is also great if you are a fan of small knots. And let's say you have a tie that is rather thick and you want a smaller knot, the Oriental is the best way to achieve that. In terms of the length of the tie, historically, um, ties in the 30s were very short. They would reach maybe up to your waistline or your belly button. Today, they're, they're often tied a little longer, but they should never extend past your waistband because you want to accentuate your face and you want people to look in your face, not down your body. Especially when you wear a jacket, it does not look good if your tie peeks out from underneath the buttoning point. So I always want to make sure that the tie is short enough that you only see it on top, not at the bottom. Otherwise it looks odd and not stylish at all. The Oriental knot is great if you want to wear collar pins, collar bars or collar clips, because it is so small that something easily fits underneath here. If you want to learn more about these accessories, check out my collar pin video. If you want to buy these, um, click here. The Oriental knot works best with a classic collar or a medium spread collar. Right now I'm wearing a medium spread collar, so it's a medium spread, so either the tips could be further down to the middle, that would work, but um, it does not work with a semi more spread collar or like a cutaway collar in more extreme. So bear that in mind when you wear this knot. Here is how you tie the Oriental knot. The wide end is going to be much longer than the slim end. I usually have the slim end about a hand above my uh, waistband on my trousers, but it's different with everybody, so you'll have to figure it out. Okay, first, the slim end goes on top of the wide end. You pinch it here, and you bring it over once, like so. Pull it slightly tight. Now, you take this end, goes through behind the knot, you pull it up, pull it up nice and tight, then you take the this end, this end, and get it through here. You hold your knot while you pull it through gently. Now your knot is a little thick, so what you do here to get a dimple, pinch on top and pull through. Always gently, gently pull and uh, then you bring it up until you like the look. Here you go, the oriental knot. 